the hotel saw on Jared's Insta story that I was super sunburned. So they sent this aloe vera and peppermint lotion to the door. So sweet, thank you guys. Some pineapple, and then these are lychee. So we can show you how to eat those if you haven't ever eaten one. This. this is insane. You guys, are the sweetest. that is the cutest oh thing ever. Oh my god. <laughs> yes, no. we will. We will. Thank you. You're so sweet. So I learned about Jared in this place. Not only does he brush his teeth quietly, but he also dries his body like he's a car going to the car wash. Literally, nobody cares about that. <laughs> what do you guys do together now that you're in love? Well, you know fall asleep on the couch while watching House Hunters. I tickle her back. Mm. It's a pretty good life. Good Jared's all annoyed because this couple doesn't want a two-story house because the guy's like too lazy to go upstairs. Go up one set of stairs, so he'd rather live in a one-story house. First of all, his budget's $750,000. How difficult is it is to find something one story? And she doesn't want grass. And the wife walks into the house and she's like, hmm, too much grass. So hold it. Too much grass, you don't want a two-story, and your price budget is $750,000. How difficult could this search possibly be? Dirty tap is hash brown, and you know, I'm not a single peep. I have a bite, and I go, oh my god. And he's like, oh my gosh, what's wrong? And I'm like, this hash brown is amazing. Not a Batman. And I'm gonna rest something. Where you gonna where you gonna rest? Yeah, <laughs> Diamonds for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> so where do they keep those bachelorette engagement rings? On the fingers of bachelorettes. Mm -hmm. Why am I here? <laughs> Ashley and Jared, after three years and a few months or whatever the case might be, and all of the ups and downs and, you know, accusations of Ashley cheated on Kevin because she kissed Jared while she was still with him, whatever the case might be, I'm just going off of, you know, the people, okay? Don't come for me. But anyways, <laughs> after everything they've been through, they are together regardless. So love wins as well when it comes to them. He took the videos, okay? So I didn't have much, but like I said, I don't really follow them like that. But I do know a lot of people that support Brian and Rachel, but also support Bachelor Nation and heard, you know, their story and went back and watched, you know, their story. They loved Terry or the lack thereof because he was a jerk and she was too overly emotional. But at the end of the day, they both have grown. If you watch the YouTube story, um, you will see them talking about everything. And, you know, for the people saying, you know, she's still more into him than he is, just let them live. <laughs> I'm sure they will figure it out. And after trying everything, if it still comes to the point where they feel like, you know what, we tried, it's just not for us. Then they will walk away, but at least they will be happy walking away knowing that we tried. Ashley always wanted to try it. Jared did not. Now that she attempted to move on and he realized he could actually lose his girl, he went after her, right? And he was blessed enough for her not to say no. And now they have a romantic comedy happily ever after if everything goes well. But if everything does not go well, it's a part of life. At least they will move on knowing we did everything we could all right and then for the people who are complaining that oh they're documenting too much they're on social media all of the clips that i put together combined probably would total almost two to three minutes with that being said that's 24 hours in the day <laughs> so they are not yes the phone is in their face they're probably doing it because they see the love and support 
It could be they just want to keep their fans in the loop and then know their supporters, I should say, become excited when they see, you know, images and videos from them. And also too, you never know, it could be marketing. Look at us, man. People love us. The audience are here for us. And maybe that would make, you know, the franchise either give them a show or bring them back in paradise for Jerry to, you know, or somewhere for him to propose. Who knows? But they know what they're doing and it's working. So, hey, so to those of you that support uh, this couple, I do want to say that, you know, every once in a while I do like bonus episodes and Bachelor Nation news. So every once in a while I might, you know, report about them, but it's not something I do consistently. The only couple that I consistently post about, I have a series about them. So just go ahead and click on the playlist. And actually my last three or two videos will show <laughs> who I'm talking about. I don't have to keep saying their name. And you also can see that person in my intro as well. However, I saw the amazing response as far as the views to the last video I did with them in it. Um, I also have some leftover images and clips. So I'm like, okay, why not just put that out and whatever else you have and then let's just move on. So these are the leftover you know, videos that I had and also some new videos from the day, you know, and then, you know, they are doing their media rounds. So doing the podcast with Dean. I love this little like family and brotherhood and sisterhood and togetherness that they all have formed. It's like their own little bubble and family. They support each other and all of that. So when you make it to a level in the franchise where you are connected, it's almost like you have family forever. Even if it's, you know, some thickness going on, it's like you really have a group of people, you know, forever. So I love that about the franchise. I am wishing them well for the people that, you know, I keep, you know, responding about put a ring on it, put a ring on it. Let them breathe, you know? <laughs> yes, they've known each other for a long time, but they've been friends and they had some toxic situation. You know, they're now in a good place. Let them date, let them get to know each other all over again on a different level before it was one-sided. Now that both of them are together and trying to make it work, so I would say if this is going to work long time, long term or forever, they need to take their time and breathe and relax and just have fun, enjoy each other and date and all of that. There's no pressure. There's no rush because I just feel like if they do too much, yeah, yeah I'm not going to confess anything negative when it comes to their relationship. But my advice would be just chill, enjoy each other, have fun now. Those last clips that I showed, I think I spotted Trista. If I did, and she's going to be in a commercial, that's amazing because she's the very first bachelorette. <laughs> she was the very first. You know, whenever people want to doubt the franchise, they can always go back to the very first bachelorette and be like, you know, she's been married for almost 20 years. <laughs> you know, they're getting up there. You know, not quite what they're getting up there. They've been married for a very long time. They're on season 14. Yeah, so they've been married for a very, very, very long time. So it works, you know, it takes work, but it works. I'm go ahead and end it here because I'm on my short video today, okay? <laughs> Anyways, my friend, I loves. I'm wishing you all an amazing day. Thank you all for the love and support. Thank you and welcome to all of my new subscribers. Thank you to all of you who have been here holding it down with me. Give this video a thumbs up. I will see you guys in the comment section because I respond to every single comment. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Also turn on notifications so when I do push, you're aware that I post it. I'm wishing you all an amazing day. Remember to always have the God-blessed attitude, which is being positive at all times. 
and seeing a good in every situation, definitely visit the website and pur purchase your merch. Every time you purchase the God Bless Attitude t-shirt, you are helping me put money aside to start my nonprofit. And I'm gonna go more into it um, when I launch my personal channel, which is coming very, very soon. All right, guys, have a great day. God bless.